Today we are going to do a few pull out strength tests on screws in bog standard pine. Hiya folks, welcome back to Test Tuesday. Today we're testing some common or garden bog standard pine timber and we're going to test it with the same screws that we've tested on some of our previous Test Tuesday videos. If you remember a little while ago we did a few tests of MDF into the face and edge of MDF and we did some tests in solid oak as well and a lot of people requested that I do the same tests in pine and that is what we're going to do today. So I'm going to test all the same screws as last time and that is going to be a 4x16 silver screw which is a single thread wood screw a 4x30 turbo gold which is a twin thread self drilling wood screw and a 5x40mm silver screw as well in these tests today I'm doing them all with no pilot hole because that's the way that we did the tests in the MDF and the oak but in the next video I'm going to compare today's results to exactly the same tests but into piloted pine. So we'll do a direct comparison between no pilot hole and a pilot hole. But today, no pilot hole, full screw length. That means the screw is going to come out the other side of the wood. That's on purpose because we want to find out the strength of the wood across the full length of the thread. Same thickness of wood as all the other tests. Pine is a bit of a funny one because when we say pine, we could mean so many different types of like white wood and soft wood in the UK. It gets referred to by so many different names, you know, Scandinavian red wood. It's all more or less the same stuff, but I'm calling it pine. Whether or not it's actually pine is anyone's guess. It's soft wood. We'll go through all the results later on and of course we'll compare the results of the pine with the MDF and the oak and then next time we'll also compare it pilot versus no pilot and of course later on in the video we'll do the one and a half turns of number eight wood screw into pine and see how much that can hold that is where we literally get a number eight wood screw put it in turn it one and a half times so it's barely going to go into the wood and we'll see how much that can hold as usual i'm going to run the tests three times per fixing i'm only going to show you it once per fixing so you don't go insane but I'll run it three times and then show you average results at the end. Let's crack on. Right, so we're starting on the four by 16 silver screw. So just tiny little screw this one. This obviously doesn't penetrate all the way through and out the other side. Start off, I just take up any slack on the unit just to get it so the chain is just touching the screw and no more. Set the data logger going. Last time we got 103 kilos in MDF and we got 277 kilos in oak. So we're expecting something probably between those two figures. Let's see how we get on. Interesting. Okay, don't read too much into that. 66 kilos. I'll run it two more times and we'll go through the results at the end. So we're on to the 4x30 turbo gold screw now. So this has got the more aggressive thread pattern on it, self-drilling tip, rifled shank. With all of these tests, by the way, I use a new screw on every test so that there's no risk of the thread being full of gunk from the previous test and that influencing the results. So every time it's a new screw into a fresh piece of the wood. And also when I come to tighten the screw, I'm just hand tightening it just to get roughly the same level of torque, obviously, and get into the realms of 
how much torque you're applying and whether or not it's an equal amount of torque. To be honest, once you start going into that level of detail, it's irrelevant anyway because in pine or in any sort of natural wood, you're going to get defects in the grain and different patterns of the grain. That's going to influence the results more than the amount of torque that you put on a screw head. Let's go for it with a 4x30. Last time, interestingly, in the MDF, it actually got a lower figure than the 4x16 for whatever reason. It only got 96 kilos in the MDF, but it went off the scale in the oak. This rig only goes up to 300 kilos. At the end of the day, if it can go past quarter of a metric ton, then it wins. So we're expecting something between 96 kilos and 200-ish or thereabouts, I would expect. It's just recalibrating there, ignore the little spikes. she goes 161 kilos there which is pretty much bang on what we expected so better than the MDF nowhere near as good as the oak same as before I'll run the test another two times and then we'll look at all the average results later on next is the big 5x40 screw this went off the scale last time in the oak let's see how it does in the pine Right, here we go, all set up with a 5x40 screw. That is roughly the equivalent of a 10 by one and three quarter inch screw. Let's see how we do. Help if I press go. As I say, this is a full thread test. So all the way out the other side of the piece of wood. Axial load test, not a shear load test. Oh, look at that. 200, we've got a little blip there. Pretty much 200 kilos. Again, I'll run the test two more times and we'll look at the averages later on. And to everyone, oh, you should have tested shear load. The whole purpose, as you'll be more than aware if you know what I'm doing here, is that we need to run a comparative test between different products. And if we don't keep it as the same test methodology for everything, then you can't compare the results. So everything is axial load tests on these particular tests. And for everyone who gets that, there's even a t-shirt for you on Teespring. Right, so I've run the test nine times now, and we'll have a look at the results in a minute, but the final test that we of course have to do is the number eight wood screw test. And if you want to know a little bit more about that, watch the last video, the last test Tuesday one that I did about the oak. But basically there's an old joiner saying that a number eight wood screw, one and a half turns into solid oak will take your own body weight and we proved that last time to be correct or at least for the oak that I used it was correct and a number eight wood screw into solid oak one and a half turns of the screw and that took 164 kilos before it pulled out of the oak double my body weight so let's do the same test in pine and see how we do I've put a little mark on the screw so we can see how far I'm turning it I'm going to do no pilot hole and we'll see how we get on. That's one turn. And that's the half. Let's go through all the results of the other tests and then I'll show you what this does. So, as per usual, I've got all the results from the data logger from all of the tests into Excel. 
and what I've done, I've just kind of shoved all of these onto a single graph at the minute so you can see the the difference in the results between every single test that I did. Now this is quite a difficult graph to read so bear with me. We've got the blue dotted ones at the bottom there, all the 4x16, the little screws. The orange ones are the 4x30s and then the greens with the dotted line are the 5x40s. So what I've done then, same as last time, just worked out an average across each of the three sets of results for each screw. And that comes out with this pretty little graph that we've got here. So we've got the blue dotted line at the bottom, that's a 4 by 16 millimeter screw into the pine. We've got the orange solid line, that's a 4 by 30 and then we've got the green dotted line at the top and that's a 5 by 40 just shy of the 200 kilograms average load before failure. And then if we compare the results between the MDF and the oak and the pine test that we've just done. Remember there's links in the description to the tests that I did on MDF and oak. I've made a couple of tweaks here to the graph. I've put the oak right up to the 300 kilos. I think I had that at about 270 last time but it actually snapped the screw that I was uh, testing. At the end of the day it's at the limit of what my test rig can handle well past quarter of a metric ton on a single screw so I'm not really interested in any figures beyond 300 kilos anyway. So we've got the greeny colour is the MDF test that I did, the dark orange is the oak and the dark yellowy colour is the pine test that I've just done. I've also tweaked the result here for the 5x40 screw into MDF from last time because I was showing it into moisture resistant MDF but just to keep the results consistent this is all in the standard MDF now. This is the results that we got when we put the screw into just bog standard 18mm MDF, not moisture resistant. So the 4x16 silver screw, this was quite interesting where we actually got a better result in the MDF than the pine. We got 103 kilos in the MDF and only an average of 67 in the pine for whatever reason. Still a crazily high figure of 277 kilos on a tiny 4x16 screw into oak. Like well beyond my body weight. I mean even 103 is beyond my body weight but yeah crazy. And then the 4x30 a bit more expected here. 96 kilos in the MDF, 166 kilos in the pine and off the scale in the oak, higher than my test rig can handle. And then the 5x40 silver screw, 109 kilos in the MDF, we've got 198 kilos on average in the pine, which is really interesting if you're ever wondering whether softwood holds screws better than MDF, it certainly does, or it certainly does for longer screws by the looks of it. So when you're thinking about things like door frames, I do generally prefer door linings to be made out of softwood rather than MDF. I mean the MDF is still giving perfectly respectable results, you know, door frames made out of MDF, as long as it's decent MDF and using the right type of screws, you're not going to run into a problem unless you're taking the screw out and putting it back in like a hundred times because MDF doesn't like that. But 109 kilos on a single screw, 96 kilos on a single screw is more than you ever need when you think about six or nine screws that hold a door what kind of loadings that's going to be capable of handling so it's it's not a problem but i prefer softwood for door linings because you can take screws and put them back in and it doesn't cause as much damage to the timber as it does with mdf so with the 5x40 109 kilos in the mdf 198 kilos in the pine and well off the scale in the oak Right, here we go. Number eight wood screw test. One and a half turns in the pine. I'm not expecting it to do anywhere near it as well as the oak did. That got over 160 kilos. But what I'm intrigued about is my weight is about 80 kilos or thereabouts. Can a number eight wood screw, one and a half turns in the pine, hold my body weight? Here we go. Ah, 
that's it gone. No, that's amazing. If you've ever wanted an idea of how much stronger oak is than pine, oak got 164 kilos. And here, I mean, 42 kilos is still pretty good on a screw that's only one and a half turns into the wood. But we're basically four times less strength than the oak had. There you go. I hope you found that interesting. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. I'll see you next time.